Hey everybody, I hope you're ready to get bossa nova today because we're taking a look at what is undoubtedly the best beat-em-up ever. Or was the best beat-em-up ever. Whatever the case may be, today we're in for a good time because we are talking about the one and only TMNT Turtles in Time for the Super Famicom, SNES, and with the recent release of the Cowabunga Collection, it's also available on the Nintendo Switch and PS4, so now, more than ever, we can all get our fix of time-traveling terrapins beating the brains out of a legion of felonious foot soldiers, rampaging robots, and mischievous mutated menaces. And when I reach for the alliteration, you know we're dealing with a true classic, so let's dig a little deeper and find out what makes Turtles in Time such an amazing game. For starters, we have to make the comparison to the arcade original because after all, back in the 16-bit days, whether it was a fighting game, a shoot-em-up, or a beat-em-up, you'd pretty much always rather be playing the arcade version. In the case of Turtles in Time, the arcade game obviously features superior graphics and the inclusion of four-player co-op, which is insanely fun, while the SNES version only offers two-player co-op, which is still incredibly fun, but obviously, with the hardware limitations, you wouldn't be able to include four turtles and a bunch of enemies all at the same time without making the game basically unplayable. However, the SNES version makes up for this with more stages, more boss characters, and incorporating Mode 7 in some instances, such as the first Shredder boss fight and the redesigned Neon Knight Rider stage. Also, it has to be said that the soundtrack in Turtles in Time, regardless of which version you're playing, is amazing. One of my all-time favorites, in fact, and it depends on your taste. If you prefer the sound of the arcade or the console version, I myself tending to lean more towards the console. There's just something about the SNES sound chip that I feel really makes these songs in particular sound just a little bit better. If I had to choose an overall favorite between the two, though, I'd still have to go with the SNES. It's the game that I've played the most, beating it countless times over the years and still somehow never getting bored with it and all of the additions over the arcade version even though there's no four-player co-op still makes me a bigger fan of the console port but there is another right around the same time we got our precious snes port of turtles in time Konami released another very similar Turtles game for the Sega Genesis, and that was TMNT The Hyperstone Heist. And with the nature of the console wars at the time, there was the inevitable debate over which game was better, and clearly it's simply a matter of opinion, but I am squarely in the SNES camp. The major advantage of Hyperstone Heist is the inclusion of a run button which speeds up the gameplay a bit, and it's definitely preferable to either the auto-run or double-tap of Turtles in Time, but other than that, the core gameplay is basically the same, except that Hyperstone Heist has significantly fewer stages, fewer boss battles, and overall just less variety in the gameplay, which has me getting bored with it eventually, whereas that never happens with the SNES game. I'm still not bored with that game, and it's like 30 years later. Also, Turtles in Time overall has a much nicer look. It's more colorful, and the visuals just pop more, if that makes any sense. And the soundtrack sounds a lot better coming out of the SNES. I mean, no Neon Knight Riders? That's a crime. The Genesis never had a chance. Still a great beat-em-up, but Hyperstone Heist falls well short of Turtles in Time, in my humble opinion. Of course, with the advent of the Cowabunga Collection, you can enjoy both games back-to-back -back and make up your own mind. 
summation turtles in time for decades held the mantle of best beat-em-up of all time there were plenty of competitors at the time like streets of rage and final fight but for me none of them could hold a candle to those time hopping teenage turtles now though many years later that's all changed these modern beat-em-ups are really something special and it looks like it's time for a new king to be crowned. With games out there like Final Vendetta, Double Dragon Neon, Streets of Rage 4, I suppose it was inevitable that I'd find a new favorite eventually. But which of these retro reimagined brawlers could possibly overthrow our four heroes in a half shell? I'll need to do some serious research to come up with an answer. So until next time, stay green, everybody. Oh, 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 oh,